Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Adnum's Broadside. Purchased this at Stein's Deli, 6.3% alcohol, introduced in 1972. This extra strong bitter, 6.3% alcohol, don't know the IBU, they don't say imported by Shelton Brothers. Adnum, Southwold, Suffolk, and bottled by Marston's Burton on Trent. Uh, it's brewed to commemorate the Battle of Soul Bay in 1672 between England and the Dutch. It's a they use pale ale and chocolate malts. First gold hops. They said they they um, came out with a cask version later, and it that was that is a lower alcohol recipe. Gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. The bros haven't had it. Um, 91 out of 100 on Ray Beer. 96 out of 100 for the style and an excellent score on the beer and meat. $5.29 for this bottle. 16.9 ounce bottle. So it is not cheap. In fact, it's expensive. I was looking at some video reviews. And um, Terry K was saying, wow, wow. And then um, Simon was saying, stone the crows, stone the crows. So they were liking it a lot. And I'm going to watch, I'm going to try to watch the other video reviews today. See some smoke. It's still hot out here. About 88 degrees today. A little bit of a breeze. But uh, humid rather humid it's technically fall but it doesn't feel like fall whoa look at that extremely thick beige head and the appearance not the greatest position for the Sun but uh, it's copper uh, like copper with some noticeable bubbles noticeable bubble streams and I don't see any sediment roiling about any suspended sediment let's go with the aroma Mmm, right off the bat, right off the bat, if you were playing cricket, um, I'm smelling brown bread crust, sweet, a little syrupy, <sighs> that caramel malt, <sighs> almost like a little toast medium toasted well it's a little rich but not overly so I have to say this is a delightfully aromatic beer one of the best beers I've ever smelled <sighs> the brown bread crust the hops are there. They kick in about a quarter into the sip and they come through. Hard to describe the hop bitterness, but it's um, sort of a straightforward thing. Slightly floral, even, believe it or not. Not piney. Mm -mm. The mouthfeel is medium to heavy, but more down toward medium. A little slick. That overriding sweetness from the malts, the toastiness, the bread crust. Then that hop bitterness underneath and in the back to give it a balance to round it out wonderful lacing oh well is this is this worth 529 it depends on what you want to do if you want to pay 529 for one of the best beers you might ever have yeah oh here comes the Kansas City Southern
the finish is semi-dry. It's very refreshing. You don't get any of the 6.3% alcohol. Man, you could, you could, I mean, you'd be sorry probably. You could drink these session these one after the other and oh, I'm sure you'd feel it. But anyway, uh, this is the only bottle I have. So A plus from, from me, A plus. I had their Tally Ho Reserve. That was, I can't remember what I said. Maybe I said outstanding or world class. Uh, but this is A plus outstanding beer from Adnams. I'm liking what I'm getting from these folks. Les et les bon temps roulés. Great stuff. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to generally warm <laughs> southeastern Louisiana.